Hello, thank you for joining me today. So, today, I just wanted to clear up an issue that has been floating around the internet, various websites, and I'm just addressing it today. So, in the video made by MKH Gardner, where he shows how to mix the master blend, there are a few people that called him out on his calculations, which appear to be wrong. And in the end result, instead of getting a 20, 18, 38 MPK ratio, he's actually calculating for a 10, 9, 19 ratio. So today we're going to set the record straight. We're going to set up two hydroponic cracky systems using these recycled Maxwell House containers, grow plugs, two master blend one solutions, one mixed to 10, 9, 19 NPK, and the other mixed to 20, 18, 38 NPK. So, and also, I don't know if you saw these sitting in the back there, tomatoes. I believe these are beefsteak. But as you can see, they're two plants, roughly about the same size, very close in size actually. So, those are our plants. Now what we're going to do first here is I've already cleaned out the container. I've got the other one inside drying. We're going to take our drill bit, our hole saw, and it's a one and one eighth hole saw in case you guys are wondering, but uh, any size will do as long as it's uh, not bigger. Let me get one of these out of here. As long as it's not bigger than the grow plug itself. Yeah, they're about the same. So I just had this size laying around and it seemed like it would work. Now, ultimately I'd like to get some net baskets, but um, yeah, I gotta make it up to the grocery store and get those. But this works, I've used this in the past and this works well. And then I transfer them over to the Dutch buckets when they get larger, but um, for this experiment we should tell within a week or two which one is working better. I assume, since he spelled out, you know, 12 grams of calcium nitrate, 12 grams of master blend, 6 grams of Epsom salt, and that's the blend that he's using per 5 gallons of water. I assume his calculations, his numbers are wrong, but I'm assuming that is what he's using and he's getting good results. But um, some people think that he's using the 10, 18, 38 and he's putting twice as much fertilizer per five gallons of water as what he says. So we're gonna put that to rest right now. All right, so. So they already have a nice little center hole for us. So let's just get it going the right way. That's it. Spin off the edges. Okay, now comes the fun part, extract the plants. Now, I'm going to pause the video here and get these extracted and I'll get them all cleaned off and then uh, I'll resume and we'll uh, put them into their containers and then we'll put them under some good light and uh, we'll keep, keep a good eye on them and yeah, we'll see what happens. So, alright, back in a sec. Okay, and we're back. I've got the plants cleaned off the best I could. So, uh, less is more. I didn't want to damage the roots, so there's still a little bit of dirt on there, but that's okay. So, uh, you notice I've got the other container out here, and, um, Sorry, I kind of jumped the gun. I already filled this one up right here with the 10919 solution. And, um, this one I'm going to fill with the 201838 solution. And uh, I forgot to mention in the beginning, I'm using the Master Blend 41838. And um, 
because this one I added 12 grams of calcium nitrate, 12 grams of myester blend, and uh, 6 grams of Epsom salt. This one is double that. Okay. I'm sorry. That was that ratio divided by 5. I'm mixing them up in individual gallon containers. So I took that ratio from MPH Gardener and divided it by 5. And I was able to mix up one gallon of his mix, which actually calculates out to be the 10, 9, 19. I did the same thing with this one, except I doubled what he recommended. So this is the master plan for 1838. And I've mixed one according to MPH Gardener and one according to what his calculation says it should be. Or what he is saying, what our MPK ratio should be. So we're just going to clear that up. So, all right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up just so there's about an inch left before. It's full, so it's about an inch of air at the top. And uh, the reason being is that's so that the air, so that the plant can uh, breathe and absorb oxygen. So you want a little bit of an air gap so you don't drown the plant. Okay, so let's put this one over here. And uh, once the grow plug goes through, Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry about that. My uh, camera died, and I didn't realize it, and I was just talking. I was talking to myself, essentially. So, um, all right, back where we left off. So I filled them both up with nutrient solution all the way up to about the last inch. So there's about an inch of uh, air space between the top and the bottom, both these containers. Uh, what I've done is split my grow plugs in half. I pre-split these. What you want to do is take the plant, stick it in to the base of the roots. I do it just below the center line, just below halfway, and uh, close it back up. Just like that, you got your roots hanging out the bottom. What we're going to do is take the roots and feed them through the hole. See if you can see this. And then push our grow plug down in there. So it sits about a little more than halfway or so, more than halfway, about three-fourths of the way through the hole. So about that much on the bottom. And um, yeah, about right there. So now if we did it right. We'll, sh we'll have about a half inch of a air gap up here for the roots between the bottom of the plug and the water line. There we go. So it's essential that you get that air gap in between the roots and the, uh, the water line. That way the plant doesn't drown. You don't drown the plant. So there's one. And we'll just do the other one real fast. Already split my grow plug. Take the plant. Insert it in. Just like that. And feed the roots through the hole. Take this off so that we can get a better idea of how far we're putting it in. Just like that. Okay, now those are all planted. And uh, I'll check in with you guys in about a week, maybe sooner. And we'll see how they're doing. Have a good one.